Hello. Uh, today, we have an interesting topic. It has to do with self-harm. And do we need a specialist to take care of somebody who is self-harming themselves? Well, let, let, let me read this inquiry to you. It's an email I got. It's from, from, from Sharon. She says, hello, Gary. Could you please provide the names of some experienced therapists that have taken your training and have had success with self-harm. Now, she doesn't talk anything more about who is doing the self-harm and what, you know, this kind of thing. So I have to talk in general terms, of course. And I don't know, you know, what the extent of the self-harm is. You know, a lot, oftentimes people cut themselves, they pull their hair, they, you know, run into walls. They do, they do a variety of things to, to injure themselves on purpose, all right? And so that's quite clearly a, a an emotionally motivated behavior. It is, we're assuming in this case, um, someone who has had trauma in their life, someone who has gotten the belief about themselves that they're not good enough or they don't count or they're evil or they're not lovable or whatever, but they don't like themselves for a variety of reasons. And of course, these are emotionally caused reasons, traumas, rejections, beating, sexual abuse. I mean, we don't know what all these causes may be. But the assumption in Sharon's letter is that, well, we need a, a specialist, somebody who has already had success with this. And that's what I really want to address here. Um, well, for, first of all, we can certainly bring remedy to the self-harm that that's that's uh, there's a very high likelihood of that what we need to do is get underneath what's really causing it and that's what you know somebody really well trained in this can do and do well and then we can start ca taking care of the emotional responses to all these specific events in one's life and peace starts to infiltrate the system and as a result of that the traumas, the self-beliefs, the turmoil, the reasons for the self-harm tend to fade. But now if you're really familiar with the unseen therapist and optimal EFT, you will recognize that this kind of emotional material, or emotional uh, problems, emotional issues are behind just about every ailment we have, whether it's called self-harm or um, cancer, or multiple cirrhosis, or anxiety, or agoraphobia, or whatever the case may be, and there are thousands of these. Underneath all of those, this is our approach, it has been very successful. Underneath all of those are unresolved emotional issues, and so on, right? So we don't need someone who specializes in self-harm. What we need is someone who is really, really good at it because we will use the same, this is important to say, okay, we will use the same process for every issue, every ailment that people manifest and have. It doesn't matter whether you label it with some kind of disease or self-harm, okay? At the core of that are these lack of peace thing. We're going to bring peace to the system. That's what we do. And we go to the specific events, the, the, the traumas that have in them crescendo moments. We call the specific events that need to get resolved because those are the ones that embed within us, you know, what we believe about ourselves and what we believe about the world and whether we're safe or not or good enough or not or all of that. All of that is, is embedded in these events, we can go. Th we can go to them one after the other, after the other, after the other. Collapse, 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 collapse. Bring peace. Bring peace. Bring peace. Bring peace. And the need for self-harming behaviors then starts to fade, for lack of a cause. If we don't feel this unrest, if we end up you know, liking ourselves, who needs to self-harm? All right. So 
there are some some remedies for all these things, which are aimed at symptoms. And maybe you know, take some pills. Or you know, I'm not a doctor, so I don't get familiarity with all these things. But these are aiming at symptoms. My view. All right? We would rather aim at cause. Now let me just mention one other thing here. One of the things people think, well, oh, there are hundreds or thousands of these specific events that may be underlying, you know, all of this self. Do we have to go through a procedure for each of those? No. We have what we call a generalization effect, which is, is automatically built into our process. All we need to do is do 5, 10, 15, or 20 of these traumatic type emotional issues from the past, specific events, and do them well. I mean, really well, where we're really well trained to know what we're doing and have you know, good expertise behind them, do them really well, and they generalize over all the rest. Why? Because most of these things have a commonality. Similar people, similar abusers, similar environments, similar gestures going on, similar tones of voice, similar, 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 similar. And so as we do a number of these, it tends to generalize over all of them. And freedom is the result. Interesting point. Interesting point. I hope that's that's easy to digest because it's really, really central to not only self-harm, but to a lot of our, our issues. Thank you.